I mix up a lot of paint for the paint. It's like sometimes three days. And so at the end of the night, there's usually all these pallets. So it's like cutting plastic sheets to put on top of the pallets. And it's like, thought, I think it just went through my mind only because I had scissors in my hand. But it was just like, I thought, I'll like, oh, put your eyelashes. You know, and I was just like, okay, that's crazy. Like, like that's, well, that's really weird. But think about like how I could begin to open up into a painting. So then I thought, okay, well, if that were to be an image, um, it would all be about the eyes. And then I was thinking about the sort of coldness of the scissors, that close to something sensitive. And I really wanted it to feel like, okay, so this person's talking and looking in a mirror. And then I thought, okay, they have to be on the phone. Because it's just like a distracted space. And, and then it started to feel like the clicking of the eyes, like the clicking of the scissors, the blinking of the eyes, and the talking of the mouth had this kind of relationship together. And, and so I don't know, I was sort of interested in it. It wasn't like a painting that was about the initial crazy thought of like, oh, I want to put my eyelashes. <laughs> you know, it wasn't anything about that. It was, it was just actually just being conscious of something that's unusable. So it's like an unusable thought, like a non sequitur, something that never really exists in language. You know, you don't say it out loud. And then like, how can then it become something that can turn into something more? And so that, I was making these paintings recently that were like that. And this is the most recent painting. And I, I feel like it, there's something really, um, it's like an open address about when people have their hands out like that. And I wanted it to feel like almost like a painting that was trying to lick you or something. <laughs> or like something that where they're like kind of almost smearing the painting from the inside out. Um, it's a painting of a person licking a brick, and I just felt like a brick was a kind of such a dumb object and such a basic object, but also really tactile. That painting itself isn't about the action of licking a brick, but the brick could be a stand-in for like something in between you and the subject, or like something that's a stand-in for the picture plane, even. Um, so, and that was like the theme of everything that's become really much more of a process in the, uh, is shown in this painting. Like I was like using scrapers and squeegees and um, wanting them to be more physical. I think that was something too, like seeing a lot of the earlier paintings, I, I, I was doing that more. I was sort of having much more trouble with the paintings, you know, like scraping them off and throwing paints around. And, and then it, it, it became much more kind of clearly about image making. And I, I think I, it's something that right now I feel interested in is like how can you open up the allow more process into the painting and sort of thinking about this um, this sort of parallel of making a painting and also making paintings of people doing something. So it's sort of like a, a kind of thing where it begins to double up on itself. Like the figure goes like this. 